In a previous video, we saw how to calculate head losses in pipes using the universal formula. We know it's based on the Darcy Weisbach formula. Here are its authors, Mr. Henry Darcy and Mr. Julius Weisbach. Their formula dates back from 1845. Now we just have to find the appropriate value for F. The problem has already been solved for laminar flow. Mr. Ludwig Hagen and Mr. Jean Poisel had the perfect formula. F equals 64 over Reynolds. But it wasn't so easy if the flow was turbulent. In this figure, you can see a dashed line that splits the area in two parts. In this one, we say that complete turbulence occurs. The Reynolds number is no longer important to define the F value. Only the K over D relationship matters. For this area, and based on data from Nicorazzi, Mr. Theodor von Karman has established this formula. Ok, now we have how to solve problems in laminar and turbulent flow. Wait, it's not ok yet. Usually, our hydraulic problems lie within this region of the diagram, where Reynolds number still matters. Fortunately, this fellow, Leonard Kolbrook, and this other fellow, Mr. Cedric White, gave us this expression that we can use to solve our problems in the transition zone. Observe that it's like the von Kármán expression, only this new term has appeared. In 1944, Mr. Lewis Moody put all these expressions together in this amazing diagram. Of course, its name is Moody Diagram. It's still used. Personally, I use it a lot. Finally, the problem of determining F is solved. Oh, oh, so many formulas, a diagram, there must exist a simpler way to solve it. Well, meet Mr. Stuart Churchill and his magnificent formula. This is the paper that he wrote. Friction factor equations spans all fluid flow regions. It was in 1977. You can find it on the internet. As in the previous formula, you just must know the Reynolds number and the K over D relationship. Knowing them, you calculate A, B, and you find F, which depends on the values of A and B. Let's solve an example. These data are typical of water supply systems. We calculate the average velocity of the water, the Reynolds number, and the K over D relationship. This is what happens on the Moody diagram. Observe that the flow lies within the transition zone. We find F equals 0.022. It's a very common value. Let's solve using the Churchill formula. First we calculate A, then we calculate B, and this is what we find for F. The same value that we found on the Moody diagram. Let's solve another example. These data are not typical of water supply systems. The flow is too small. That's because we want to force a laminar flow condition. We calculate the average velocity of the water, the Reynolds number and the K over D relationship. This is what happens on the Moody diagram. Observe that the flow lies within the laminar zone. We find F equals 0.050. Let's solve using the Churchill formula. First we calculate A, then we calculate B, and this is what we find for F. The same value that we found on the Moody diagram. Let's solve a third example. These data are not typical of water supply systems. The flow is too high. That's because we want to force a complete turbulence condition. We calculate the average velocity of the water, the Reynolds number, and the K over D relationship. This is what happens on the Moody diagram. Observe that the flow lies within the complete turbulence zone. We find F equals 0.020.
Let's solve using the Churchill formula. First, we calculate A, then we calculate B, and this is what we find for F. The same value that we found on the Moody diagram. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Churchill. Now I just put this formula in my computer and forget it. The input data are the Reynolds number and the K over D relationship, and the F value is found. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next videos.